Hi everybody, Tim MX here and today I want to show you a very fast and easy way how to create a filmic and cinematic look. Do you know the fastest and easiest way to achieve a real filmic look? Not such a viewer dish? or filmic and cinematic look if you want so. Especially if you are dealing with 10-bit footage, it's more a general filmic look. Maybe it could be your starting point for more adjustments like secondary skin tones or some vignettes for example. But right out of the box this technique gives you a very powerful tool to get a real great filmic look. Of course, there is no universal and always sole valid solution, that's clear and you should also know that especially if you are just a beginner, you can give up this search straight away for such a solution. Trust me, there is not this only one solution out there which works for every image and which you can use all the time alike. But I can show you a real very very fast and easy solution which works almost with every well exposed image as long it's 10 bit footage. Of course it works with 8 bit log footage too for example but then you have to balance out the image a bit more as I will do it here in this tutorial and maybe you will get some color bandings. It depends on your image of course and just try it out. But the shown technique in this tutorial does not work in ACES. Please keep this in mind. Let me show you my project settings quickly. I just work in Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4 of course and that's it. And this footage is a simple 10 bit ProRes 4 to 2 HQ as you can see here. There's nothing more. Ok, back to topic. All we will need are only three nodes, very straight and simple. But first you should have color corrected your image and corrected the exposure too. I did it here in this first node. Now add a serial and a layer node and another serial node behind these two layer nodes. You know this bottom node lays above the upper node here, just to be clear. Now on this upper node turn the saturation down to zero or just type zero in this field here. And on the bottom node decrease only the luma slider down. On the gain to zero, on the gamma to minus one and on the lift to minus one too. You could do this on the curves or with the curves too, but it's faster to type these values on this corresponding fields here. Then push the saturation to the max or type in 100 and that's it. But now the image looks really horrible, but we are back in the zone in a second. All you have to do now is to change the blend mode on the layer mixer node to soft light. Now I want to add a bit more contrast. And this time please don't use the contrast slider, just use the curves. And only on this upper node here. This is a node for Luma and here you should adjust the contrast only in this technique. So all I have to do is to create a very smooth and slight curve. Just make sure the editable splines are activated in your curves. And something like this looks fine. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Yes, perfect. And now look at this image. It looks more like a printer look, which is fine too. But let's say we want to bring in the colors a bit more to let the image really look filmic, more filmic. So on the last note, I will use the color max technique just as I explained in the tutorial about how to max the color contrast. You find the link on the upper right corner of this tutorial here. So I will push only my colors here on the gain until I recognize that the colors are stretched very close to the borders of my histogram. Therefore be sure to switch the scopes to the histogram for this step. I will not explain this technique deeper. If you want to know how it works, please have a look on this tutorial about color contrast on the upper right corner. 
Okay, all I wanna do is to increase my gain colors here in the color bars, but I don't wanna just bring in more color contrast. I will try to bring in more saturation to this orange here by keeping the skin as clean as possible. But I guess I will bring in a bit more tonality too to the skin, just a slight warm tone. So you don't have to use the colors, not the Luma, just something like that, maybe a bit more to the cheekbones too. Yes, this looks good in my opinion. I really, a really great color separation in my opinion. And what I did here, I balanced out my image to a look just to make it clear and I destroyed my white balance in this way as you can see on the vector scope again just created a look on this node so I did two steps in this last node. First I increased the saturation by using the color contrast method and second I created a look, a slight look. So you can skip this second step if you want. All you have to do then is to increase the saturation. Let me show you this quickly. Here in a, another note, okay. This looks good for example, but be careful. Don't push it too far. But the better method is to leave the set on 50 and use this color contrast method. It will give you much better results, which much smoother transitions between your more saturated areas in your image and the less separated saturated areas in your image. That's what I did on the node here. It's up to you which you prefer. Okay, we are done. It's a perfect base filmic look, in my opinion. All I would do now here on this image is to set power windows to the face, but I already have a very filmic color contrast. So the skin is really good separated. And of course, don't forget to add a bit film grain at the end. I will end here and I hope you can use this technique in your workflow too. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time. Bye.